to have her you know, in, in a state where she's not too worried about dying to a storm spirit jumping on top of you. But Naga Siren, the song. Thanks. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll get to resume the game and just looking at this mid lane here, Dendi runs forward. I think he is trying to get some harass Fody, but look, look at this. That. Lina got level 3, she got stunned and he's in big trouble. Oh, the salve. Dragon Slave, it's ready. <laughs> Clockwork the Rocket Flare will actually secure the kill. But yeah, that's that's a situation where Dendi could not afford to kill. Oh, he's picking up the courier. Oh, Dendi. He wanted the courier sniper. I'm actually going to do a decent chunk of damage onto Iceberg. He's got LSA in two seconds' time. Always going to fly. Walks in, and Dendi's in trouble here. Going to die again. This is uh, very, very bad. Are well, they going to get a second? He wants an echo. Is hit. He does not have a fissure. But Iceberg doesn't want to commit for this. He doesn't have mana for stun and slave. That's pretty yeah, unfortunate. But yeah, I, I wanted to say that Shadow Shaman is not really a defensive support at all. Whereas Lion isn't designed that way, but the level 1 Hex is 2.5 seconds, whereas level 1 Hex here is one point, it's half the duration. Burn, so it, you're not defensively kitted Get out, that. not good at helping mid, and I think you would you at least have the camera on that, right? No, at the very last second I saw his like corpse die, but that's a double kill going the way of Iceberg. 0 to 5. Yeah, and drawing the storm. I really like the idea of Shadow Blade before you all set for here. Because you're not dealing with a blink, and when you factor in the fact that Storm and Juggernaut, both of them, are susceptible to the invis light strike rate, Dendi is not level 6 yet. The Fisher's good here, and Goretz is trying to get damage out, and will do so. They find the kill on the Storm again. This snowball with the shards, they'll find a counter. Finally get themselves up on the board as Goretz does die to Funny. Dendi is 0, 4, and 1. We've, yes. we've seen Storm Spirits go behind early. Well, the illusion so he doesn't die to Riptide in a couple of hits. And this stack. They're, they're, still, they're still going. They're still going for this. PSM just caught in the end snare to take down the healing ward. And down he goes. FN is now trapped in the middle of three heroes. Glimpse back into the camp. And that's him gone as well. Yeah, there's a, there's a real sense of... Uh, it's quite ominous, to be honest. With Navi, no, they can't just give up these stacks. But yeah, he is not worrying. And... It's actually just a return stack steal, that's what it is. Actually a clever move, I think, from Na'Vi. But Unless then he's gonna die again. <laughs> if, they got, if they got away with that stack... Six. Magic wand and brown boots, but... Here comes Lina. This is gonna be her Yule Scepter, done. After this creep wave almost. Fennec's in trouble top as well. Oh, you're right, they jumped into the hook shot. And he's got that good Fisher, Goretz. Oh, the tower aggro switched back to Artez. And Seneco, do you really want... Is he, is he, nope, no he's not. They wanted another stun there, maybe a PSM shackle or a hex, something like that. But he is he is building towards the Sol Ring, which I think is the, the easiest cheap recovery item. The Tusk is going back in. Storm as well. Goretz has the hook shot, traps them onto the tower, but he's still dead. Static Storm, not going to catch them with the connected field. Glimpse back onto Dendi. And he's trapped here. They've got the net. They've got the damage. And he doesn't have the mana to fall lightning any further away. Now Lina is the one on the hunt. She's got the Yule Scepter. Not sure is the... Uh, I don't want to look at wind conditions here for Na'Vi because I think that's so far away. Oh, Dendi. Oh, Storm. Stun. Time perfectly. Nope. Dendi still jumps forward and with the Omni Slash, Iceberg's dead. His team wasn't here in time and Dendi jumps over the Static Storm hookshot. Gonna miss as well. Goretz when he's finding Gloom's back. Dendi sent into an interesting position where actually he can play a little more aggressively. Always want to uh, fly. Finally. Song's up and resets the fight. I kill him if he is alone. Well, Lena does drop twice in a row there. Funnick up at top and snared up. But it's snowball, turn it back around. Punches up, always on a fly, and the fishing comes in with the shards as well. Artez, he's burned through Funnick's mana, but the hook shot off the mark. No. She's still on cooldown. I thought maybe they'd throw it and try and find one, but they get the kill regardless. Burps back and cogs. Kill on Snake as well. For some reason, I thought I heard the hook shot. My mind, my mind is going crazy. I thought I heard the uh, little sand bite for the hook shot. They want to see who's behind as well. And it's kind of like in Counter Strike when you let the first man go past just so you can see who's behind. Get the kills on the back end. All right. He's blocked in here and now he's trapped in. The hook shot across, but dodged out. Static Storm catches two with a connect field as well. They're all trapped inside. Sub towards finally dropped out by PSM, but Dendi. Dendi, ball right again. He's going to kill off Fanscore here. The song at the very, very end. 
Let's take a look at this. Always want to fly. Gonna die here, possibly, to the Serpent Ward. Dominic Slash jumps on to Artes and he can't flick away. Iceberg doesn't even kill PSM. And this is absolutely disastrous here for CIS Rejects. He'll kill off Iceberg if Denny's got enough mana and he does. One hit out. Should be able to secure this kill. No, he doesn't have it. Iceberg. Yeah, they, they really are stumbling. They're really not respecting the strength of the enemy fixed wall. Iceberg will probably get Dandy's Aegis here. I think it's They've just the Aegis. Shot. I don't think he gets this. I think Gorax could time this. Yep, he's got it. Life Striker 8. Land Laguna Blade. They've got it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, very good use of the cogs and the, the hook and the Alice Aegis just to like chain them up. The last, since they said anti is lagging, he hasn't moved an inch. Okay. Not brilliant. Oh, he's moved now. Flicks away. The static storm drops, but he can't feel just yet. Serpent Wars are down, but you'll step to Iceberg looking for PSM. And he will zap him into oblivion, so one for one, full force support, but the Tusk Snowball is not going to chase down fast enough. Funny, the Ice Shards will land, but CIS Rejects get themselves away. Artaz, Microd, blinks out. The Clockwork's still up at the top lane, though. And Na'Vi are not pausing. Fair, they don't have to. Song and Siren, they've set this up nicely. Suneko has Echo, that's something they have to be very wary of. But they've trapped two in the cogs. Life Strike Raid not going to land here. It's a Zip Zap Snowball as well. Echo landing down onto three. Suneko is dead and Funny's going to follow straight after. The only Slash on the back. Going to get tanked up by the Lina. But she yields us up into the air. FN dropping incredibly low as the Vortex is the remnants. Is all of those damages this is coming out of Dendi does finish off the Lina at long last, but he's hunting the Courier, and this is really a wild goose chase. He's got no mana left, he can't even TP away, and that's going to be his doom. So CIS Reject, once again, coming away with a one team fight. Would have loved to kill the Dragonaut there, but this is with Anti Mage being disconnected. Like, he should be 4,000 ahead of the Dragonaut in my opinion, in this situation, where he's he got himself, what, a 15 minute Battle Fury, 18 minute Vlads. It's 25 minutes in, and even with that one death, I still feel like he should have Manta Style right now. Yeah, what? but his, his farm keeps, to be fair, his farm keeps stalling when he DCs from the game. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. So but, it, like, that's what I'm saying. He... Like, independent, oh, oh he's still jumped on here with the stuns. Song of the Siren. Have they got five man? No, four man. Kinetic Field, Static Storm, only gonna catch Dendi though, really here. FN as well, no, they've got them both. Laguna Blade finished him off, and Dendi, Glimmer Cave up now, Invis hiding under the Serpent Ball. They just slam out with the Hulkshot across as well. Funic is caught, but the Mana Void not doing a damn thing. Artez is micro but it's just not strong enough. They've lost three of their heroes. Artez trying to fight Sunato, but he's being right hooked down and finished off by Funic. Goretz, five man wipe there. It's not the right person to mana void. There was actually a stronger mana void on the storm, even though he wasn't that low on mana, he was quite low. But it's like he had most of his mana. And it's really sad to say, but that's there's someone else microing anti mage while they're playing the own. The sigil, they've got the stuff boards, and they've got this life steal juggernaut. Yeah, and the bigger problem is they also can't buy items from anti mage. Well, Fanic's gonna find Vance for, and that's an easy kill for him. He's trapped here. Artez. Snowball is over towards Always Wanna Fly. Artes, oh no, it's on the Artes. He gets stunned off, blinked away. Omni Slash, now the Glimmer Cape out. Does keep Artes invisible and hidden. Let's throw Sharp. It is a Naga ult, Well, Anti Mage just dies instantly. Always Wanna Fly gets the song! Except he zapped Naga into Oblivion. So Roshan dies, three are dead. And Storm gets Eurasius. The, like, the, the biggest thing here. But CIS rejects. Have they got a gem? Storm jumps on the Naga Siren. Gem is over on the Lina. So they're, at, they're actually trying to go and deward these observers all around from the Radiant. Dandy started this game at 0 6, and we were talking about is there any chance of recovery for Navi? And yep. <laughs> at somewhere down the line, now it's is there any chance of recovery for CIS Reject? Oh boy. The Echo Slam. Static Storm's been dropped, but Dandy. Gets himself out, the Fisher will lock them. Drop to Naga, gone, and this Omni Slash is huge. Funic just jumped forward and gets the kill there as well. Even with the Mana Void down, Artez, five man wipe once more. And. Gotta wonder when the G's are coming. CIS I wonder rejects. if uh, CIS rejects, rejects recognize that this game is close to over, but they want to just stall it out and try and 
get Arteta to, get back. Artes to fix this problem for game three. Yep, I definitely see that being a highly likely possibility. The courier dies, six man team wipe. Dendi picks up yet another gem for his team. But racks are falling. Now, as Navi, what do you do here? Do you go down to tier fours? Because you, you can't take tier threes in. The tier twos are still standing. So you have the options of going for tier fours and maybe losing a couple. And the, the winner of this match goes up tomorrow. Is it against Empire? Is that right? Yeah, against Empire. Oh dear. Tusk says goodnight to Goret. The clockwork's dead for 50 seconds. And now Na'Vi, they know they've got a window here. They move themselves up towards the tier 2 itself. The okay, funny thing is that the clock was just low. Tusk didn't even use his DDS. Now he uses it, goes in and solo kills the Naga. Oh, Artez. Dead once more. They can't buy back the AM either, can they? Nope. That's an issue. So this is. <laughs> look at look at no, Dude, look at Van score, honestly. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, they're just they're they're taking their time because whatever Arthur is dealing with is taking time to to deal with. And in the same way, you said it's fair enough for Navi not to pause flame. I think it's fair enough for Sky's rejects to do this too. Dyer's top If this is what it's come to. <laughs> Middle tower is under oh my goodness. Well, oh god, the couriers are coming! The little donkeys! The donkeys are on their way. Oh, I don't even think the team fight matters as much as the donkeys dying. Like, <laughs> son of a siren. He's gonna get popped here. Dandy just cleaning up hands, so. It has been a travesty of a series. And it looks like game 3 is going to be postponed, so we won't actually get to see who wins it after all. Well, that just happened. Does this mean we can jump into the other series, or has it started somewhere else? Um, I've not been told it started, I've not been told that anything's gone wrong, so I'm assuming that we'll jump straight into it. Vega against Monkey Business should be coming up in a couple of minutes, guys. This has been game number two. It has been an absolutely surreal experience. Thanks for watching, I think. <laughs> because I... Yeah. Shit happens. Shit happens. Hopefully the chat created some new memes or something. Because I, I, I don't know what else to take out of this. Game three, I'm like 100% like sure it's going to be postponed. Like, there's, there's no way we continue this. It has been an absolute mess of, uh, of DDoS action. But Navi tie up the series one to one. The GGs have not been called yet. The throne has yet to die. There is no comeback chance here from CIS Redex though. <laughs> Even when the Beyond Gold Lake Street gets uh, taken out there. Iceberg has no item. Always want to fly, still playing seriously. But uh, the anti mage with 5,000 gold can't spend any of it. Um, yeah, I mean, they've, they've already Dyer's asked to postpone game 3, which is I implicitly it's the same as, as calling the GG, yeah. saying that there is going to be a game 3. Now, what are the stats on number of sentries placed next to your fountain, Scant? Oh, who, who's going to check stats on that? Come on, okay. I think that's something you need to call card for. <laughs> Krat Doat, tell me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, who was... Is, Always want to fly that there was a Russian player or Ukrainian player. That rings of protection, right? Yeah, yeah, he did rings of protection, then at some point he went to mangoes, and sometimes when they're on the winning team, he's not.